Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Here is an end to hunger, come to the feast. And everyone who labors, come to the waters. Oh, you who have no money, come to the feast. For this is life. The waters of the Jordan, for this is life, the waters of your birth. Does that renew you? Oh, come to the feast, oh, come to the feast, for this is life, the waters of the Jordan. For this is life, the waters of your birth. For this is life, the waters that renew you. Oh, come to the feast. Oh, come to the feast. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore for you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God. Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father. 
earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us, feeds all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us, He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us, He answers all our needs. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us, 
He answers all our needs. The all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hands and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his deeds. The Lord is close to all who call, who call on him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, not in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height or depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds of the, heard this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and fish are all we have here. He said, Bring them here to me. 
And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the ground, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, 12 wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. A prosperous and God-fearing man was praying with his son one night at bedtime. Uh, he says to his son, let's pray for that poor man who lives down the road, that the good Lord may come to his aid. The son turns to him and replies, but dad, we don't need to bother God about that. We can do it ourselves. Here the father shows concern for the poor neighbor in his prayer, but his son reminds him, prayer and wish are not always enough. Sometimes God's answer to our prayer would be, you can do that yourselves. This is what we see in the gospel story today, where the disciples were so concerned about the hungry crowd that they request Jesus to dismiss them so that they could go and buy themselves something to eat. Jesus turns and says to them, give them some food yourselves. Give them what you have. Then they became aware of what they had, five loaves and a fish, a two fish with, his, with a boy. And the boy was ready to share it. Jesus gave thanks, blessed, and gave it to the crowd. It was more than enough to feed 5,000. This story of the miraculous feeding of the 5,000, I think speaks to us even today because many of us can identify very easily with those disciples like them we find that our care and compassion very often is very limited to prayer and good wishes with no intention of the taking positive action to help the situation. Again, like those disciples, what prevents us from taking positive action is often realistic that with the little we are able to do, is not really going to make any appreciable difference. But today's gospel shows when we translate our care and concern and compassion into positive action, the little we are able to do is multiply by God's grace. Blessing that becomes more than sufficient for the need. Uh, so this shows again, when we are aware of what we have, and we are grateful for that to God, and are ready to share it with others, each one of us can make a difference in miraculous ways, of course, with God's blessing. For this, we need faith in God that gives, that goes beyond of human logic and realism. So God needs our five loaves and two fish in order to perform the amazing miracles of feeding thousands and helping thousands today. Mother Teresa used to say, share what you have 
and trust in the power of the Lord to make it enough. She actually showed the world, you know, how a one loving person can start a tidal wave of love that can spread to the entire world and help millions. This small message I want to conclude with, by sharing with you this touching story of a little girl's donation of five loaves to faith. A sobbing little girl stood near a small Sunday school building. Seeing her shabby appearance, the pastor guessed the reason and personally took her inside and found her, for her a place in the class. The child was so touched that he, she went to bed that night thinking of the children who have no place or opportunity to learn about Jesus. Two years later, this child lay dead in one of the poor tenement buildings and her parents called for the kind-hearted pastor to handle this arrangement for her funeral. As her body was being moved, a worn and crumpled purse was found, which she might have got from some trash dump. Inside was found 57 cents and a note in a child's handwriting. This is my savings to help build our small church and the little Sunday school bigger, so that many more children can go to worship God and learn about Jesus. The pastor tearfully read this note, and carrying this note and the purse, he went to the pulpit and told the story of the poor little girl, her unselfish, big-hearted love and devotion, and uh, challenged the parishioners to build a larger church and Sunday school. The newspaper published this story. A realtor who read it for the church worth thousands of dollars for the price of just 57 cents, the amount the little girl had saved. And the parishioners made donations, large and small. Checks came from far and wide. And within five years, the little girl's gift had increased to $25 million. This little girl's gift of five loaves and two fish was multiplied. And you can now see the Temple Baptist Church, the seating capacity of 3,300, and the Temple University, where thousands of students learn. You can also see the Good Samaritan Hospital and Sunday School Building, where hundreds of students learn. So in one of the rooms of that building, you can see also the picture of the sweet face of that little girl, whose 57 cents, so sacrificially saved, made all this possible. So one person, with little he or she has to give, can, and does make a difference as in as individuals and communities we suffer all kinds of hunger for food for love for peace and god is able and willing to satisfy all our hunger and today's first reading and the gospel show the providential care of a loving and merciful god who generously shares his riches with us freely and abundantly and invites us to practice his sharing love in our lives. So our God is waiting for men and women like us now who believe enough to give up pillows and two fish. He needs to make miracles possible and happen today.
Let's rise and proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. <clears throat> I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, <coughs> crossed again on the third day. According to the scriptures, he ascended into heaven. <coughs> He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. He is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. In confidence that our God hears and answers prayers, let us bring our needs before Him. For those who preach the Word of God in word and action, may they bodily proclaim the never-failing, never-ending love of our Creator. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials and those who hold public office, needs of the poor and vulnerable in mind as they shape public policy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from their faith, may they know the compassionate love of God and hear his voice calling them by name. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, May we never cease to hunger and thirst for righteousness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving in our armed forces, that God's guiding hand protects them from all harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for those suffering from the coronavirus, and for the that repose died from this illness, for those remembered on the altar and in our online book of prayers, and for those now recalled in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be raised up to eternal joy in heaven, especially Gary Larson, Dwight Churchill, Raymond Stevens, Luis Lopez Martinez, Zenaida Robles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> and for all St. Catherine parishioners and their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundance, in you we find nourishment that satisfies. Hear our prayers that your mercy and love might fill the earth so that all people would dwell in peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our burden, all 
all who labor and are burdened, let them come to me, come to me, for I will give them rest. Come to me, come to me, come when you are weary, come to me, my iniquity, come to me, and I will give you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to your mighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, you not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of of the Lord, oh, Hosanna in the highest, oh, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O oh Lord, and all you have created grace. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, in supper, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, O Lord, and his wonderful resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim that you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, the glorious martyr, with Anna and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis our Pope, and Philippe our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this land. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Yes, command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Mingling of the body and blood of all the Lamb of Christ, God, you take you away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. On us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed to those called to the supper for the Lamb. But only say the word As a reminder, our communion procession forward will begin with our back pews. Please give your attention to the ushers. Thank you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. all who thirst let them come to the water and let all who have nothing let them come to the Lord without money without price body of why Christ. should you pay the body of the Christ price, except for the Lord oh. the body of Christ the body of Christ. The body of Christ. And let the body of Christ who see the body of Christ. Let them come to the body of Christ. The, water. the body of Christ. And let all who have nothing. The body of Christ. Let them the come to the, the Lord the without money, without strife. Why should you spend your life except for the Lord? The body of Christ. Oh, the body of Christ. Amen. And let all the body of Christ, the poor, the body of Christ, let them come to 
to the water. Bring the ones who are laden, bring them on to the Lord. Bring the children without mind. Easy the Lord and light. Come to the Lord. Act now with the power of justice. Love now with God's mercy and grace. Walk now, humbly serving our neighbor. We are called, we have been chosen. We are the servants of God. What do I see? A mother struggling to feed her children. What do I see? A father struggling to shelter his family. What do I see? A family in need of compassion and of aid. We are called to give freely, to trust. power of justice, love now, with God's mercy and grace, walk now, humbly serving our neighbor, we are called, we have been chosen, we are the servants of God, act now, with your focus on justice, love now, with God's mercy and grace, Walk now, humbly serving each other. We are called, we have been chosen, we are the servants of God. We are called, we have been chosen, we are the servants of God. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your mighty God bless you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we 
mask his us from the coronavirus and all serious illness. For all who have died from for those who are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those who prayed, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Amen. I heard the voice. One, one, lay down your head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give. And the living water, thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus, and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in